everyone, welcome back to my channel. On today's video, I will be doing a Sephora haul. Ooh, I am so excited to film this. Um, I went shopping a couple days ago and, and I got some really good stuff, so I'm very excited to show you guys. So let's just jump right in. Now I've already tested some of the products, not all of them, maybe just one or two, so I will let you know how I feel about them. First product I have here is the Laura Mercier Matte Radiance Beige Powder. This is gorgeous. I've never owned a highlighting powder, so I wanted to go ahead and pick this one up. I have been eyeing this highlight for three years, I want to say, when it was limited edition. I'm not sure if you guys remember that, but this was limited edition when it first came out, and I wanted it so bad, but I just never got around to getting it because it is quite expensive. It's around $40, I believe, so this is what it looks like. It's a beautiful champagne, um, not overdone, just very subtle highlight. Let me see if I can swatch it for you. Oh, it is so beautiful. It's just very subtle. Um, and you could just blend it out. Very subtle, makes you look so angelic and beautiful. I really, really love this. Then I decided to pick up uh, the Bare Minerals Original Foundation. I've already tried this out. Um, at the store, Sephora, they color matched me a color that was too dark. Um, and then the lady decided to go a shade down for me, but she put it over top of the already dark foundation and it looked great in the store. It looked amazing. But then when I tried it on at home, it was a bit too light. So I may have to go a shade up or maybe get the darker one and kind of mix this one in because I feel like finding my shade for this type of foundation is a mission for me. So this is what it looks like. I got mine in the shade medium beige. Um, and it's the one that I'm wearing right now and I really love it, I do, but I don't know if you can tell, my face is lighter than my neck. Um, so I did have to apply some bronzer to kind of warm up the face a bit. So, let's just keep moving along. Alright, this next product I'm very excited to show you. This is the Tarte Energy Noir um, Palette. It is beautiful. It looks like this. It has this kind of purple ombre maybe situation going on and then gold on the bottom it has some nice weight to it too um, so then let me show you I haven't tried this out at all so this is what it looks like the colors are beautiful they're all like very silvery purple shades I don't own anything like this in my collection um, and then there's a highlight right here which is so so beautiful um, so that's what the highlight looks like right there, very pigmented. Um, and then you have these two gorgeous silvery purple shades. Here, let me swatch them. Okay, so I don't know if you, okay, there we go. These are those two purple shades. I will say that some of the shadows aren't super pigmented, but they are very blendable, so you can definitely build up the color, which I really like, so that you you know, you know don't, you don't go overboard with these shades. Um, this is a matte, very light purpley shade that I really like. And the rest are just very neutral shades. You have a black right here, a really dark sort of plumish color, and then you have like an eggshell matte color, and then your basic dark brown. Um, and of course, this beautiful, beautiful blush kind of reminds me of the shade Exposed um, from their collection, so. I don't, I don't know if you could tell, but uh, it's so pretty. Can't wait to try this palette. It's so compact too. I feel like you can easily travel with this because you have your blush in here, your highlight. You can use the dark uh, brown or the black as a liner. It's just, it's very versatile, so I highly recommend. Okay, then I decided to pick up one of the Urban Decay Matte Revolution lipsticks. I have been dying to get one of these. I have one of the regular Revolution lipsticks in the color Jilted. It's a very bright fuchsia color, but I've been really into mattes lately. Um, so this is what the packaging looks like. Um, it's very sleek. Although I prefer the other packaging of the Revolution lipsticks, like the gunmetal color, that one is just, I don't know, this one feels like a little bit lighter to me and 
but nonetheless it's still it's pretty cute and I got mine in the shade in 1993 I'm very into the matte grungy brown lipsticks I I'm like obsessed so let me just swatch this for you guys and it's super brown it may not be everyone's cup of tea but if you are someone who has super pigmented lips I know I have really pigmented lips and I struggle to find lipsticks that are opaque and that look good with my skin tone and something like this and I don't think it's too brown there is a hint of pink in there so it's not entirely brown but it is so beautiful and I cannot wait to try it all right then I picked up um, the Sephora Rouge no the Sephora Luster Matte Longwear Lip Color. This is another product that I have been eyeing for years. So I decided to pick up the color Deep Plum. And it is so beautiful. I think this would go perfect um, during the holiday season. It's just such a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful shade. And I can't wait to try it out. That's what that looks like right there. It's beautiful. I don't have anything like this. Um, so I guess we'll see. It says it's a matte formula with a luster finish. So I'm not exactly sure how that pans out, but I guess we'll see. All right, I've got one more product. Uh, this is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer um, in the shade Ginger. This concealer has hands down changed my life. I don't think that I will go back to my old concealers I, I I just can't do it this is so good this is full coverage it's so opaque and so creamy now you do have to work very fast with this product because it dries right away it sets into your skin right away um, and I am wearing it right now and I think it does a fantastic job at covering my under eye um, area and then I did get a little sample um, I had a 100 perk gift, so I just picked up the Ultra Repair Cream. It's my favorite cream. Um, it's funny because I wanted to pick one up, but they were sold out. So then when um, the lady at the counter told me that I had um, 100 points, I was able to redeem this. So I'm very excited. So that completes the haul. Um, I'm so excited to use these products. Um, I'm thinking about possibly starting a makeup blog. Um, I don't know let me know what you guys think I'm really thinking about doing it just reviewing products in depth and swatching them and telling you what I think so don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video bye